What's up, everyone? My name is Will Fox, and I am making this video of Eltnum's theme. So if you want to learn how to play Eltnum's theme and you want like um, to see like the fingering and to for me to basically break it down for you, to give you some approaches as how to practice it and how to approach it, uh, then this is the perfect video for you. And without further ado, here's how to play Blood Drain again. The first thing I do with any song is to figure out what key I'm in. So this is in the key of A minor. Um, a minor and C major share all the same keys. That being, there's no sharps or flats. So you're never going to use any black keys, except for like a bunch of times you do. So, but the cool thing about playing in um in this key in, is that you're pl you're primarily playing any white all the white keys. Anytime you use a black key, you know that there's been a bit of a change. The intro to the song is, um, as a simplistic stripped down version, would be... I'll play it slower. The left hand hits some black notes here and there. So um, you start from A, which I'm going to consider your one chord. So whatever you do, wherever you venture off. A is going to be your home base. So you start on your home base and you, you basically do this uh, melody. So I break that down to two parts where it's like you start on A and you go down to G and then you um, jump all the way to C. So, And then the second one is you start on F and you basically approach uh, B via this A sharp. And then you jump down to E. The interesting thing about E is that E is your uh, dominant of the key, meaning that... Like it has that feel basically where it's like, um, uh, as far as the right hand, um, you just start at B. So it's pretty easy. So it's just um, one, one, two, one, two, three, one, one, two, one, two, three. So if you were to play it the way that I play it, where I add the chords, So um, in your right hand, now all of a sudden we're introducing a couple of other black notes. So um, basically in this first half, you're, you're kind of trying to like uh, stay in the C major um, with like all your extra fingers. So you're, you're going to be playing the melody, but your remaining fingers are going to be trying to hold this. And for a moment, it hits this like uh, E, uh, second inversion. Oh, excuse me. It's not even E. It's that. Um, so the second half is um, it's like this F major seven. So this is weird. <laughs> so in the right hand, you're um, you're kind of lowering this A. And I guess you're using G sharp instead. That's basically what you're doing. So this is pretty... It, it actually took me a while to get uh, consistent at playing that. So what I would do is just learn how to play... Oh, excuse me. I would just practice that over and over and then once you're able to get both the hands together you'll be able to do that but if that's a lot to like take in um then again you could take the approach of playing like 
just um, a really simple version. It sounds okay, but maybe at some point, maybe you'd want to introduce other nodes, or maybe you, you would like to find some other nodes that you might find better. This is just my interpretation of the song. The next section of the song is... Um, Um, I'll play it um, slower, but basically you're using like this A chord in your right hand while you're playing your D chord in your left hand. So you could voice this however you want. Like you could play like, that sounds a bit like muddy. And notice that we have like this um, G sharp in the next one, but uh, I like to finger this specifically like, cause I want to go from Um, so basically the two hand positions I try to um, weave together is excuse me this hand position on the A and then this hand position on the on the G sharp which is like an extension of um, your E7 right so try to get that Or you can play like that too, but um, to strip that down, you can play if you don't want to have all the chords. so on but um the main struggle for me was um getting my hand from this position because you do typically want to keep your chords um thumb middle finger pinky and it just helps you slide into other chords so um so i going into the next section um So you want to make like this, um, I play, I choose to just play like this and I want to keep like this, I, I want to keep this to be an E chord. So I use E minor since we have this G. And then I choose to, you can just feel free. You have freedom at this point, in my opinion, to just do whatever you want. So like, um, um. So in the second time you do this, it's a bit of a different um, uh, progression. So instead of going from D to E, you're like, you want this C. And then um, this part um, is B flat. So I hope the software is showing this as B flat, but that's a B flat. Um, um, So what's going on here is that instead of using um, B, you have like um, so you're using B flat and then you're approaching B in your left hand. And now you're going to the E. So E, um, since that's your dominant, it's a good place to like uh, make a mental note that you're kind of like at a a place where you're gonna set up something next, or you're at like a good like resting point point mentally, um, and then at this point we play this lick that's like, oh excuse me, and the way that I remember it specifically is that it feels like we're just playing like an E chord, like like an E um E major chord, but um instead of playing like this B, we're gonna be playing this. G. So that's just how I remember it um, personally. 
So as far as the chorus, we have... So that's like the first chunk of it. Um, what I think about as, as far as playing it, the chord progression is going from D to E to A. And this is minor, major, minor. So we do have like this G sharp um, when we're on the, uh, the dominant, on your E. So what I'm thinking about in the right hand, I'm thinking... I'm approaching, I'm approaching E, and I'm dancing around on E, like chromatically, and then we're jumping down, uh, we're jumping all the way up to like this, uh, the C. And this line is just a chord. It's just, it's just your uh, E seven. It's just inverted on, it's, it's just the third inversion, so. Sometimes I make it major um, right there. So that's pretty uh, self-explanatory. And the second time you do it, you have uh, some interesting chords. That's another point of interest. Um, after like, you have like this um, G minor, and then you're going up a fourth, but you're going to C augment it. So you have like this G sharp, which is cool. Like, this is like kind of annoying to a uh, finger. So I I do this, um, like that, like with my um middle finger. And then we clean up the song by going like... The way that I remember this is... Um, da -da 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 -da. So... We're starting from A in the left hand. Going down to F. And then we start on D on the second half of it. So we skip on E, we go to D. And this line, I always forget how to play in the right hand. And all I do as a mental note is I know I'm going to play three. And when I get to C, I just skip to a perfect fifth. So, uh, and you, your last chord is this B flat major, major seven. And that's basically the whole song. So... If there is something that wasn't clear, please let me know. I wasn't sure um, if I gave each part like a fair amount of attention. Let me know what I could do to improve these in the future. So with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.